launching a big movement that eliminating the poverty by 2020. Uh, by three, I think uh, generally three approaches. One is government spend more budget on that. The second that sent the uh, government officials, intellectuals, company managers, engineers, to contract to each village, be responsible to solve their problem. In the past, it's just to provide the money, but this time, and the call is to enhance their capacity to be out of the poverty constantly, rather than once you leave. And so they help them to uh, to introduce the investments and uh, set up small factories <coughs> and train them to uh, to make the crafts and uh, many many ways. And also the uh, graduate students or even the undergraduate students, they they. Uh, to help the students for teaching and uh, train the teachers and a lot of ways. However, this is called a responsible contract to see 2020. There are many, many stands and also nationwide, you know, uh, uh, open uh, forums and exchange the experience. The third approach, I think, in the absolute polity area, they try for instance, they have high mountains and forest desert places. They try to move, reallocate the people to, to the other places. So I think if this movement could succeed, there will be a great experiment for the world. But not each government can learn from that. But, but however, we, you know, the poverty as I mentioned, liberalization and development itself, growth itself, mm -hmm. has accumulated a mm -hmm. lot of a lot of problems. Even the technology itself. So we have to find ways to to do that. But I hope uh, we can probably invite more people to see how you know China is, is doing that. So poverty become a big big issue because we all are witnessing the wealth you know, moving to, to the richer people, also in China, you know, and the great share occupied by. But how to reallocate this wealth and to the poor people and it, it's a great challenge. Uh, that's why I said liberalization only approach does not work at all.